Hi, I'm David Matthews, reporter at Times Higher Education. I'm here in Waterford, Ireland, with Dave Whelan, who is founder and chief executive of Immersive VR Education. So Dave, you're designing VR experiences for higher education, um, so students can learn and lecturers can teach yeah. in VR. So I wonder if you could just take us through some of the applications your company has produced so far. Okay, so we're creating an education platform called Engage, and what Engage allows you to do as an educator is you can teach any subject to any student in the world in a virtual reality classroom. And what we're trying to achieve is why even teach class in the classroom? So if you're teaching marine biology, why not teach that on the seabed and have a whale spin through the centre of the class? So it's a lot more engaging. And we're pretty much building a tool set for educators to use the system. So if you can create a PowerPoint presentation, you should be able to create an immersive lesson. Whereas when you have a headset on you and you're using these hand controllers, if you're a real competent presenter, you can re-record all your data. So re-record your movement in the virtual space, re-record your audio and your presentation. And that can be replayed from the point of view of the students once you've completed it. And if you're happy with your presentation, you can publish it up on the system. Right, and you've also teamed up with the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland to produce a, uh, a sort of a medical simulator to run you through what happens in um, you know, the emergency room or mm. various other um, uh, emergency situations in the hospital. Yeah, so with the Royal College of Surgeons, we created um, an app on the Gear VR, which is a mobile version of the headset, and it, it's a chest strain insertion. So previously, students would have learned the procedure with a um, a multiple choice text document where they'd have to choose A, B or C for, for each um, scenario. Whereas in the virtual space we have a patient in front of the students and then they choose between life and death situations or choices and if they choose correctly obviously the patient gets better, if they choose incorrectly the patient can deteriorate or even, even die. So it's a lot more immersive and they get instant feedback then instead of filling in um, um, a test questionnaire and then giving it to the educator where they might find out whether their answers were right or wrong. Yeah. Within a couple of days, they get instant feedback. Um, what, uh, people might be wondering, you know, what's the advantage of delivering a lecture in virtual reality versus uh, you know, a standard lecture room? Yep, yeah, so um, current distance learning um, programs and um, platforms. Like MOOCs, for example. Like MOOCs, for example, yeah. yes. So um, all the content is provided um, through text and video, um, video streaming in on a desktop, so people don't feel really engaged with the content. They feel very isolated when they're learning. It's kind of they sit down, they're by themselves, they play through the content. In a virtual reality classroom, um, they really feel as if they're part of a real class because you can be joined by other students inside the virtual classroom like with your peers and you can go through all this content yourself or you can have a live teacher come in and broadcast. And one of the key advantages with virtual reality is a feeling of presence, being in a real location. So as an edu when an educator comes in, because all their movement is tracked, you really get a sense that that person is there. So it's like the educator is two feet away from you, where in reality that educator could be thousands of miles away. Mm -hmm. Or that educator might even be in the, the live classroom with you. Mm -hmm. That educator could have recorded their lesson and you're just replaying that over again. So we feel students would be a lot more engaged with the content and they're not distracted by the outside world. And how easy is it for an academic to create a, you know, a 3D model of part DNA, for example, or a dinosaur, something like that, and be able to have students in that classroom to go over it, to look, look at it from every angle and be able to explain it in that classroom. Yep, so we feel educators themselves won't be able to create the models from scratch, but there's thousands upon thousands of uh, content creators out there already that create all these immersive models. So we'll make it very easy that any content creator can upload their models to the system, but we'll also provide lots of free um, free models on the system and free environments. So an educator can go in and they can choose from our library of, of environments or our library of immersive effects is what we call my effects, where they can go in and choose like the dinosaur, they can choose the mm -hmm. DNA, or they can choose say the medical training um, assets where they can have a patient on a bed. So they won't need to create anything, it's just literally drag and drop. Right, okay.